when Toyota announced a leadership change from the long-serving Akio Toyota to Koji Sato earlier this year, it wasn't just big news. It was a signal of even bigger things to come for the Japanese auto giant. The most electrifying development under Sato's new leadership is Toyota's cutting-edge hydrogen combustion engine, poised to revolutionize the industry. While most car manufacturers are betting on an all-electric future, Toyota has always danced to the beat of its own drum, envisioning hydrogen as the key to tomorrow's transportation. Years ago, Toyota made waves with the Mirai, the world's first mass-produced hydrogen fuel cell vehicle. Fast forward to today, just months into Sato's tenure, and Toyota is once again making headlines with its groundbreaking hydrogen combustion engine. For over a century, internal combustion engines, ICEs, have driven the world. But their sustainability has been increasingly questioned. Many manufacturers have turned to fully electric vehicles, EVs, as the eco-friendly successor to ICEs. Thanks to trailblazers like Tesla, EVs now rival and often surpass traditional ICE-powered cars in range, efficiency, and cost-effectiveness. Yet, despite the compelling case for going electric, Toyota has steadfastly championed a hydrogen-powered future. This commitment is now more evident than ever, thanks to the ingenious minds of Toyota's engineering team and their latest innovation, the hydrogen internal combustion engine. This bold move underscores Toyota's vision and solidifies its role as a pioneer in the automotive world, charting a course that defies conventional wisdom and promises a cleaner, more sustainable future for us all. Toyota's big milestones didn't just begin today. Toyota made a clear statement that their vision is possible with the Mirai. The story of Toyota's investments in the world of hydrogen-powered vehicles would be incomplete without mentioning the Mirai. As far back as 1992, Toyota began developing hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicles, FCEVs. The Mirai, which was the result of this initiative, has over the years undergone a series of remodeling and improvements. In 2014, Toyota made the Mirai available to the public as the first mass-produced hydrogen FCEV to be sold commercially. Initially meant for the Japanese market alone, the good reception that Mirai enjoyed resulted in Toyota making the car available worldwide. Many years later, the Mirai remains one of the most successful hydrogen FCEVs in the automobile world. Toyota, even with a change in leadership, has remained steadfast in its ideology of using hydrogen fuel instead of electric vehicles. It's also worth mentioning that in recent times, Toyota has invested in electric vehicles. However, the new CEO Koji Sato recently admitted that he doesn't see electric vehicles overtaking hydrogen-powered cars anytime soon. Unlike the Mirai, which is powered by fuel cell technology that converts hydrogen to generate electricity, Toyota's new engine is a hydrogen combustion engine. The H2 internal combustion engine, often referred to as H2 ICE, was recently unveiled as the powertrain for the new Corolla H2 Cross prototype. Still in the early stages, it's safe to say that this new engine changes everything. For starters, it's expected to change how vehicle manufacturers approach the use of hydrogen fuel to power vehicles. The company has shown that fuel cells are not the only way hydrogen can be used to power automobiles. Internal combustion engines provide an equally viable zero-emission option. Toyota's GR Corolla H2 Cross prototype, which is inspired by the GR Corolla, is an attempt by Toyota to merge the handling of the GR Corolla with the environmental friendliness of the hydrogen engine. The car is powered by a turbocharged 1.6-liter three-cylinder hydrogen combustion engine capable of producing 300 horsepower. It's an all-wheel drive vehicle with variable torque distribution and uses a six-speed intelligent manual transmission. The H2 internal combustion engine is also used in Toyota Corolla Sport race cars. The hydrogen-powered Toyota GR Corolla H2 made its racing debut in 2021 at the Super Taikyu Series endurance races in Japan. Since its debut, the engine's performance has been improved considerably to levels similar to those of gasoline engines, with better power and torque, and a faster refueling time. The driving range for a single refill 
has also been improved by about 20%. That's quite some competition with traditional ICEs. But just how does Toyota's new engine operate? The operation of the hydrogen internal combustion engine is similar to that of an engine run on compressed natural gas. However, in the case of the hydrogen engine, a bigger and thicker tank is required to keep the hydrogen gas in. Toyota's system is a bit different, given the fact that it includes a small battery, essentially making it a hybrid. This helps reduce the emission of nitrogen oxides into the environment and improves fuel economy. Hydrogen, which serves as the fuel in this engine, is a highly flammable gas that requires careful handling to prevent a fire outbreak. Hardened valves, valve seats, and connecting rods are also necessary since they'll transport gas and not liquid. All these measures are taken to avoid leaks, which can be dangerous given the volatility of hydrogen gas. H2 internal combustion engines have the potential to produce more power than hydrocarbon engines because hydrogen burns more efficiently compared to gasoline. They also produce similar torque and horsepower. These engines produce zero CO2 emissions, with water being the byproduct of the oxygen and hydrogen reaction that takes place in the engine. This water is then disposed of through the exhaust as vapor. This results in less air pollution, further strengthening efforts to combat ozone depletion due to harmful carbon emissions. Drivers who are used to driving gasoline engines will also notice that the handling of hydrogen-powered cars is quite similar to that of more conventional gasoline vehicles. Unless you're aware that you're driving a hydrogen car, you might not notice anything different about it until it's time to refuel. It takes less time to refill a hydrogen tank than it does to refill a gasoline engine. Toyota hydrogen combustion engines can be refilled within 90 seconds, yet they offer longer ranges when compared to hydrocarbon fuel-powered vehicles, making them more suitable for long-distance journeys. These are all great stats, you'd say, but not every car manufacturer thinks Toyota is on the right track. In a 2019 interview, Elon Musk referred to hydrogen fuel cells as mind-bogglingly stupid. He stated that producing and storing hydrogen is an inefficient process, requiring a lot of energy and facing challenges with transportation and infrastructure. He has also often emphasized the limitations of hydrogen infrastructure compared to electric vehicle charging infrastructure. For Musk, building a widespread hydrogen refueling network is a daunting task and it would be more practical and efficient to invest in expanding electric vehicle charging infrastructure instead. He's also stated that the overall efficiency of hydrogen production, storage, and conversion into electricity is lower than charging a battery directly with electricity. Additionally, Musk has raised concerns about the economics of hydrogen technology, stating that the cost of hydrogen fuel cell systems is significantly higher compared to battery electric systems. But although many don't seem to agree with Toyota, the Japanese automaker has still stuck with hydrogen as the best alternative to the fast unbecoming ICEs. Well, just before criticizing Toyota for being so steadfast in their decision, here are a few reasons why Toyota believes in hydrogen. Zero emissions. Hydrogen fuel cell vehicles, FCEVs, produce zero tailpipe emissions. The only byproduct of the chemical reaction that occurs in a fuel cell vehicle is water vapor, making them environmentally friendly and contributing to improved air quality. Energy storage and grid integration. Hydrogen can serve as a form of energy storage, allowing for the integration of renewable energy sources like wind and solar into the energy system. Excess renewable energy can be used to produce hydrogen through processes like electrolysis, and this stored hydrogen 